Welcome to the Football Museum. We're inside the Pacaembu Stadium, right under the bleachers. Here, the fans of several teams have celebrated some of the most important titles in Brazilian football. Every year, the final match of the São Paulo Youth Football Club happens at the Pacaembu Field. Finals of the Brazilian National League and Copa Libertadores have also been played here. The famous Brazilian national team, five times champion of the World Cup, has been around a few times as well. The men's game, however, is only a portion of our football history. Although many of our memories are associated with men's football, in this audio guide you will get to hear about another side of this story, the women's side. The Football Museum has hosted a myriad of events and has promoted the cultural agenda on women's presence in football. It was important to make it known by more people. But we want to go further. Our mission here is to show how relevant women are in the history of the most popular sport in Brazil. That was a prestigious sportcaster, the late Luciano Duvalli, commentating on the goal scored by Marta in the 2007 World Cup semifinal against the United States, a day that became a landmark in the history of the sport in Brazil. But alas, women's football had to fight through a lot to reach this level of acknowledgement to get some attention on national television. On April the 14th, 1941, women were banned by law from playing football. Listen closely. Getúlio Vargas, president at the time, signed a law that banned Brazilian women from practicing any sport that the government would consider violent. From that moment on, no variation of football, field, beach, or indoor soccer could be officially taught or practiced by women in Brazil. The decree read... Women shall not be allowed to practice sports that are incompatible with conditions that constitute their nature, thereby requiring the National Sports Council to issue the necessary instructions to the country's sports entities. The ban was lifted in 1979. That same year, the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women was adopted by the United Nations General Assembly. The thing is, though, practical impediments actually lasted until 1983, when football finally became a regulated sport for women in Brazil. Whoever tried to whip up a game in the years before then would still run into trouble, as you will hear later on. In other words, more than 40 years went by until women were able to officially play and become professionals in this sport. Four decades during which Brazil was already the country of football, just for men. Now, if Brazil really is the country of football, there's a lot of stuff that we need to revisit. We have got to learn more about the women who face prohibitions and prejudices to be able to shine in their own rights, on and off the football field. Join us! Our journey has 14 more episodes in store. A sound stroll that you can enjoy while touring the football museum or wherever you are. The ball is rolling and we're game. Onwards to the next episode.